In order to meet future energy needs here in the Pacific Northwest, a consortium of university and industry partners is exploring a sustainable, locally produced replacement for petroleum-based fuels. Advanced Hardwood Biofuels Northwest is leading research and development into a system for growing and converting hybrid poplar trees into liquid biofuels and other high-value chemicals. These products could be used to fuel cars, trucks, and aircraft, as well as to manufacture bio-based products such as paints and plastics. Sustainability is a key component of the project. A team of university researchers from Washington, Idaho, and California is working together to investigate and assess the economic, environmental, and social impacts of the entire process. Using this triple bottom line approach, sustainability is found at the intersection of all three systems. The Environmental Sustainability Team is studying carbon emissions and climate change ramifications, as well as the effects on soil, air, water, and wildlife. Life cycle assessment is used to gauge the cradle-to-grave impact of the entire process, from growing the feedstock, to refining, distributing, and consuming the wood-based biofuel and bioproducts. We look at the life cycle impact in terms of uh, climate change and, and water usage on the whole system. We try to do this research before the factories are built so we can anticipate any problems and find areas where the whole environmental performance can be improved. Researchers are measuring carbon emissions and investigating environmental effects at four demonstration tree farms. We'd like to know if the soil physical or chemical properties change. We'd like to know if the biological properties change. And so we're collecting soil samples for analysis in the laboratory. And we're also taking measurements in the field. We expect that the poplar trees will have some qualities that improve the site. They're very rapidly growing. They put a lot of carbon into the soil. And so that feeds that uh, below ground biological system. The economic sustainability team is evaluating the investment costs for infrastructure, such as refineries, and also the potential income for growers. We're trying to develop models that accurately predict to the farmers what kind of yields they might expect from a poplar plantation and what kind of costs. At the same time, we want to give them an idea of, of what they can expect to be paid at the farm gate. In the end, we have map predictions of where we would expect poplar to be grown. Then we take our estimates of how much it might cost to create a refinery and all of that goes into the, the final siting models where we come up with the best refinery locations within the region and what the cost will be at those particular locations. The social sustainability team is looking at public acceptance of the new biofuels initiative. For it to be a meaningful and viable industry, it has to be people-oriented. So is it feasible socially and socially acceptable for people to grow hybrid poplar, to have refineries, to, to buy and sell gasoline? What is it that we can do to facilitate it happening, like producing feedstock? What would it take for farmers to grow hybrid poplar? The team is gathering information through meetings, focus groups, and interviews with hundreds of stakeholders the interviews are transcribed, analyzed, and used to create surveys. The process is ongoing, but preliminary analysis of the data shows support for a hardwood biofuels industry. It's not only that it's going to provide jobs to people, but it's, it's amazing how much people just want to have energy independence. By addressing people's concerns and researching all the foreseeable economic and environmental impacts beforehand, the AHB sustainability team plays a vital role in preparing the Pacific Northwest for a successful hardwood biofuels industry.